Hey guys, Ben here from 4Drive. Today we're talking about the Assist Slim and the two different battery options and some of the important differences between them and things you need to consider if you're going to use the 40 volt Slim Performance battery or the 28 volt Slim Endurance. So let's get straight into it. 40 volt Slim Performance battery. The, all of the Gen 2 batteries are a 40 volt architecture except for the Slim Endurance. 40 volts is the considered the Gen 2 sort of system, 28 volts is the same as the Gen 1 systems. So with the 40 volts, what that actually means is that there's actually 11 cells in this battery, or there's 11 cells that are in series that all add up to 40 volts, and you can have multiple sets of those to create bigger capacity. But this battery is actually 11, 11 cells, creates 40 volts. The slim endurance battery is 8S architecture, so there's eight cells in series, and they get joined together to create 28 volts. And again, you can have multiple sets of eight uh, to create a larger capacity. So the reason why this one is 28 and this one is 40 is because when you join eight cells together all in a long line, and then you want more run time, so you add more capacity, you need to do two sets of eight. So there's 16 cells in this slim endurance battery and that becomes quite long and skinny. And so does the nose cone. So to make a 22 cell, if we were to double this to make a slim endurance that was a 40 volt, it would become a very, very long nose cone, about this long. And then the product becomes very long on your board. And this uh, lifting motion, when water hits the nose cone, uh, we tried and tried to make a 40 volt slim endurance, but the product was just too long and the nose cone would flex too much and leak water. So it had to be a 28 volt architecture. So that's the two key numbers we need to know. 28 volt, 40 volt, 11S. 8S, that'll come into play. So, things you need to consider. The Assist Slim comes with a 40 volt charger. You can then choose whether you want the Slim Performance or the Slim Endurance battery. However, most people are gonna go for the Slim Performance because that's the main purpose of the Slim is to be as small and lightweight package as possible. So this is the most popular option. We did include both nodes cones with every Assist Slim unit, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you do get the slim endurance battery, you will need a 28 volt charger to charge it. You cannot charge this 28 volt battery with a 40 volt charger. So keep that in mind. If you are a gen one user, this 28 volt charger is the same. So long as it's the big plug, if you're from a few years ago with a very small plug on a 28 volt charger, you'd need the adapter, but 28 volt chargers, 28 volt batteries, 40 volt batteries, 40 volt chargers. 40 volt charger comes with Assist Slim. Cool, nose cones come with both. That is most of the differences between the two actual physical architectures and why they are what they are. It's also worth noting, and we have many other videos about choosing between the Assist Slim and the Assist Max, as well as many other videos about all of the different batteries and what they're good for. But it's worth noting quickly for this video, the Slim Endurance being 28 volt has less voltage, so therefore can produce less thrust than the 40 volt system. Uh, there's also a little bit more sag, which is where the voltage drops off a bit earlier throughout the runtime. And this battery doesn't feel like it produces as much thrust at like 50% state of charge as you're halfway through your session. It produces a little less thrust, whereas this one's much more linear. It produces more thrust for more of the charge. Um, very much consider this slow and steady and punchy and runs out pretty quick. So again, go and check out all those other videos about choosing the right gear for you. Let's come back to you bought your Assist Slim. If you have your Slim Performance battery, you have your charger, you have your nose cone, you're good to go. The systems are also already pre-set up from factory to use a 40 volt architecture in terms of programming the, the box and the controller. If you decide to get a slim endurance battery, you need to have a 28 volt charger. You may already have one from your Gen 1, but otherwise you'll need to purchase a 28 volt charger as well. You've already got the nose cone. This is where it comes to the requirements when you're using either of these uh, batteries with your system. The first one is the controller. So the controller has telemetry that is reading certain settings from this system while you're out in the water and one of those is how much battery is left. 
you need to tell the controller which battery you're using so that it knows how to interpret those signals from the SysSlim properly to give you the correct battery indicator down the side and the correct uh, percentage when you scroll through the telemetry settings. The system from factory, both the controller and the unit is set up to be used with the 40 volt architecture. So let's say you have just purchased a slim endurance battery and the 28 volt charger and you want to use it with your assist slim. First thing to set up is the controller and the telemetry so that it reads that voltage correctly. So what you do with the controller turned on, we press and hold the cruise control trigger down and tap the power button. This will get us into the menu and then we can let go. Once we're in the menu, you can see in the top corner here, there is a little yellow arrow pointing to number one. To move that arrow down the list, we need to just tap the power button until the arrow scrolls to the second page, number five, battery serial number. Now that it's selected on that, we press and hold the power and it selects that. It goes into that menu option. So now that we're in there, you can see it says battery number 11. So that is referring to 40 volt battery 11S architecture. As, as I said, from factory set up to be working with the 11S. We want to use the 8S battery. So to change that number, we just tap on the power button and it scrolls through and we go all the way through until we get to battery 08. Now that it reads 8 to match 8S, we use the cruise control to back out of the menu until we're all the way back to the screen. Now your controller is set up to use the Slim Endurance. If you go back to using the Slim Performance battery, then you just do that exact same process and set it to 11. 11S, 40 volt, 8S, 28 volt. Set it correctly on your controller and you'll get the right battery percentage and little battery bars down the side, depending on which battery you're using. Very important so you don't run your battery too flat and you know when to come back in. Now that the controller is set, we need to set the electronics inside the Assist Slim and tell it which battery you are using. Again, very important because the Assist Slim needs to know which voltage you're using so it knows what sort of power levels to put out to best protect your battery and also get the best ride experience because they're tuned differently for those two different voltage batteries. The way we do that is using the folder of app on your mobile phone. So again, this system is set up by default with the uh, 40 volt architecture. So if you've just got your Sys Slim and you just got a performance battery, put it straight in, go ride, have some fun. If you've got the endurance, you need to tell the system that you're using the endurance battery. If you have both, you need to use the app each time you change battery types. So to be clear on this, the Assist Slim just wants to have a set of instructions written for it and it will remember those instructions until you tell it otherwise. So when you connect with the app and use the app and go through the process, which again, we have another video on that, go check out the video about how to use the app. But as you go through that process, you're writing a set of instructions. I'm using a performance, I want this power level, I want this boost, I want this latency, save. Once it's saved, this system will remember those settings and those instructions until you tell it otherwise. So if you only have a slim performance battery, you can just keep using it over and over and over again and you don't need to use the app ever again unless you want to change anything. If you have only the endurance battery, you need to set it up once first and then you can never use the app again if you don't want to, you can just keep using it. If you have both batteries, then you need to use the app every time you change using one or the other battery. So if you've got two batteries, one of those, one of those, they're both charged, you go to the beach, you decide to use the endurance first, connect to the app, tell it that you're using the endurance, write the settings, change the controller, use your endurance battery, come in, take it out, grab your performance battery, put it in, connect to the app, change the setting, off you go. If you have both batteries, you go to the beach, you only use your endurance, you come back in, you go for lunch, you charge your endurance back out, you go back out again, don't need to use the app, only when changing between. Now, it is very, very, very important that you do this process. Obviously with the controller, you won't get the correct settings, or you won't get the correct battery percentage readout unless you tell it which one you're using. And same with the unit itself, it doesn't know which one you're using and it will set the wrong tune and try and use the wrong tune. You can also permanently damage your batteries if you're using the wrong one. 
this is not covered under warranty, this is your responsibility to make sure that you have the correct settings for both the slim and the controller for which battery you're using. Consider this like putting the wrong fuel in your car. If you put gas or petrol into your diesel car, you will damage your motor and it's not covered under warranty. You need to remember and know to put the right battery in for the right settings. Exactly the same as fuel into your car. So very, very important, not very difficult. Again, I've just shown you how to change the controller and we have whole videos about the controller. I've just showed you how to, uh, sorry, the app video shows you how to change the settings and run through the process on the app, but very, very simple, less than 30 seconds to quickly change these settings. Use the correct nose cone for your battery, obviously, and you must use the correct charger and be aware that the 28 volt charger doesn't come with the battery, nor does it come with the system, but you can obviously bundle these two together and buy them if you choose to get this battery. Hope that is clear and not too long and waffly. Very, very important information. Hope you guys love your systems. Go check out all our other content and we can't wait to see what you get up to on your Assist Slim. Thanks guys.